we're talking about the gift of prophecy, where God speaks to man through man, where prophecy is one of the gifts of the Holy Spirit. We also, you know, we dealt with the question, can all prophesy? And we looked at uh, several scripture, which talks about the fact that yes, we can prophesy because prophecy is about, one part of prophecy is about hearing the voice of God. The, the other part is to deliver what we have heard, what we have received in a clear manner so that the others are blessed. So uh, all can prophesy. If you are a believer, you have the privilege of hearing the shepherd's voice. If you are a believer, then, then you can desire the gift of prophecy and the Holy Spirit is more than willing to step in and activate and cause us to walk in, in this gift. So today uh, we're going to look at how prophecy, uh, some more aspects of prophecy and how prophecy flows with other gifts. Uh, especially, you know, when it's um, it's intertwined with other gifts. A prophecy can, for example, it can flow with gift of healing. Now, uh, let's say there is a word which God reveals to a person and say, okay, this person, such and such a person, maybe you're going in a bus uh, or you're going in a train and then the person sitting next to you, God reveals, uh, uh, gives, gives you a word of knowledge, uh, a prophetic word saying this person is maybe suffering from a condition uh, physically. And, and the reason that he uh, reveals that is so that you may communicate or we might, we might pray about it, uh, we can share it with that person. And, uh, and the thing is this, the other gift, which is the gift of healing will also flow. And the reason that God reveals that condition is that so that he might step in and do something about that condition in that person's life. So, um, so we can expect uh, along with the gift of prophecy for other gifts to flow. So it's like a gift pack. So it's like uh, many streams just coming and, and flowing together. So the so all the gifts that we see listed in 1 Corinthians 12, um, the nine gifts that are listed there, we can expect any of them to flow together. One one thing we need to know is that uh, when we receive the prophetic word, it's not automatic. It's not automatic. I receive the word and then I have a responsibility. I have a responsibility to receive it in faith. I have a responsibility to pray uh, in line with the word. And there could be certain things that I, certain steps that I need to make. For example, if, if there's a prophetic word that God is calling me to be a pastor or God is calling me to be, uh, uh, to be in this particular profession, um, I receive the word with faith. I receive it, but I also have a responsibility to pray and see what, and or, or even equip myself, train myself, because this is what God wants me to God wants me to move into. So uh, I have a responsibility to pray. I have a responsibility to to act in faith on those lines. So it's not automatic. It's something that I need to receive and and walk with, right? So so let's let's pray and uh, and let's let's ask God to to quicken this in us. Let's God ask God to stir this in our hearts. Um, uh, let God ra raise up a people who who are hearers of His word. Uh, let God raise up a generation that is naturally supernatural, and uh, it's a, it's an exciting time to be living. It's an exciting time to be it, uh, an op a privilege to be used by God. So let's pray. Father, we thank you that um, Lord, we we can be vessels of honor in Your hands. Father, we thank you that uh, for all these instructions about the gift of prophecy in your word. And Father God, we come and we submit ourselves and we, we submit ourselves to your word, Lord. And we receive these instructions from your word. And uh, we pray that uh, as a church, as a people who are followers of, of the Lord Jesus, that we will be a blessing to others. That, uh, that the, the prophetic gift will draw people to you. The prophetic gift will edify people and it will be a blessing to many. We thank you. We give you all the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.